for today on your Wednesday. Those scattered flurries for the start of the day, partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions. So we once again can see a few breaks in the cloud cover. 19 degrees is where it will stop for the day. But check out overnight. Zero. Ouch. When we start to break away that cloud cover, it really allows our temperatures to dip back and then winds are really uh, on the relatively lighter side as well. So we're going to be bitter cold and feel bitter cold overnight. Many of us will drop back to feel like we are below zero and that's where we're going to kick off tomorrow morning as well. So even colder tomorrow morning, bitter cold for your Thursday and even as we head into the afternoon, we'll rebound a bit, but still feel like the single digits now for tomorrow. Much of the day will be dry and quiet. We'll still have that mix of cloud cover around, but as we get later and later into our evening hours, really truly overnight into Friday, this is when our next uh, push of snow will arrive, but it's going to be lighter snow that can linger into Friday. The better push of more widespread still light snow, but more widespread snow will be on Saturday and that can linger into Sunday a bit as well. No major snowfall over the next couple of days, but still some of these minor events. So by tomorrow morning, maybe some of you can pick up a, a dusting or two. And then as we get into Friday throughout the day, we're still talking about that dusting to an inch, maybe inch and a half of snowfall. So again, really not a whole lot of snow, but a a little bit of a, a minor event here. 18 degrees then tomorrow, 21 on Friday. Still bitter cold temperatures below average for sure. And we dip back more as we head into Saturday and Sunday, 13 or Sunday and Monday rather, 13 and 14 degrees.